Hey, Brandon. Hey, Fabio. How's it going? Cheers. Cheers. How's it going? Good to see you. Um, Good. What do you, what do we have here? Uh, oh boy, is this our is this Saint, is our Saint Nicholas back here again? <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed out to be honest. So what what tell me the age? So this patient is actually a healthy 30 year old who just got an EEG for for routine workup, and then it it's like electrocerebral silence, and I don't know what to do with it. Now now can can the patient um. Are they, are they, can they talk? Yeah. I looked at the camera before you arrived and they're just like hanging out, talking, speaking completely normal. But they have electrocerebral silence? Yeah. Something doesn't make sense here. Mm -hmm. I see your, your, you've got the filters such as some interesting settings. Tell me, tell me a little bit about, about oh. that. Oh, you mean these guys up there? Yeah. Those little menu things. Oh. What are those all about? Oops, I actually never look at them. I thought they were always automatically set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, it's nice that the Tooth Fairy exists and <laughs> Mr. Bunny brings presents. And money grows on trees and people do your laundry for you. <laughs> Fabio, you gotta check these things. Oh, no. So, well, so, so why don't you tell me a little bit about the filter settings? So let's take a look. Do you why do you think this patient has electrocerebral silence. Let's see if we can cure this person. Okay. Uh, so I I can see some LFF, HFF notch since yep. we didn't tie, but I have no idea what they mean though. Well, LFF is LFF. <laughs> yeah. What is, so it's the low frequency filter setting. Huh. So what does that mean? Why don't you try, let's, Change it a little bit. See what happens. Should we turn it? Should we turn it off? Yeah. Let's see what happens if you turn it off. Oh, something changed. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we turn everything? Uh, let's set it to things to their normal settings. Okay. So what do we normally have the high frequency filter set set to? I never look at it. I have completely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> seventy. So oh, seventy. Seventy. Okay. Yeah. So what does that mean if that's set to seventy? Oh, well, actually, what did you see when you set it to 70? What I, mm -hmm. I saw some activity pop up. It's not as flat. Right. So what, what activity showed up? Is it um, less, than, less than 70 hertz? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of high frequency activity showed up. So before you had it on, on five, uh -huh. it means that it was, it was filtering out everything huh. above five uh, oscillations per second. And so here, when you set it to 70, you let, you know, you let everything up through 70, um, you know, be visible, right? So that's, that's good. We, we, and the, what is, what's the sort of range of frequencies that are present in the normal EEG in, mm. in clinical EEG that's you know, recorded from the scalp? It would be a different issue if we were recording inside the brain but i feel like the fastest one i've described is beta so up to 30 ish hertz yeah some that's pretty pretty close and then what what happens at 60 hertz while we're talking about this by the way i just noticed you have uh your your notch filter off oh um actually so why does it just show 50 and 60 on a notch and then there's more options on hff well yeah why is that Mm, not not sure. Well, try let's try setting it. I'm not sure we'll see any difference, but try 60. Uh, see what happens. Not much. Oh, barely changed. So yeah. if we were in a room with um some electrical power interference, what would uh -huh. we see? Uh, okay. Huh. So we, we would see the you know the 60 hertz um like line noise. The mm -hmm. if we were in Europe, what would we see? I assume that would be 50 then because we have two options here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why there's those two options. And so what what the yeah. notch filter, um, it attempts to just kind of narrowly filter out um, oscillations at that, at you know, either 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Mm -hmm. All right. So when we've looked at the notch filter, we've looked at our high frequency, you know, filter so that we know that that's um, 
essentially telling us what the upper limit of the frequencies we see mm -hmm. is. What about the LFF? So what do we typically set that to? I would guess one. Yeah, I think, well, yeah, I, I usually put it on 0.1, but um, what yeah. does it mean? So let's try a couple of settings. Okay, so let's do five. So it's five. Mm -hmm. so see what happened. I think there are some slow waves here that disappeared. Right. So what does the what does that five mean on the L on LFF on this low frequency um, you know, filter? Mm. Just thinking it through. Then if the high filter filters out everything above that frequency, the low filter filters out everything below this frequency. Is that it? Right. Okay. Yeah. So the LF, the low frequency filter, it's a good, it's a good practice to, to start out with it at a pretty low setting so that you're not filtering much low frequency activity out. Uh -huh. so one, because of course, if you have it at five, you're filtering out a lot of physiological activity, right? Many patients will actually have um, oscillations, you know, at one hertz or two, mm -hmm. or even below that. Um, what kinds of activity would you actually though want to filter out that are you know not physiologic all right so we've got you know 0.1 to 70 now i think we see what's what's you know real brain activity here we also see some high frequency activity what do you think that is that looks like muscle artifact yeah that's probably muscle artifact mm -hmm. hmm. something's not right here so what what's our sensitivity uh 30, it seems like. 30, what's our normal sensitivity? Is it 100? <laughs> Let's look at the options. Okay. So, we have 100. Well, yeah, there is 100 there. Let's try 100. Oh. Ooh, right, let's put it on even bigger. <laughs> 700. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> this patient now is once again comatose. Right. It goes so, back. We don't. We better, so what, what that means, what does 700 microvolts per millimeter mean? What's, what are the units telling us? Uh, just thinking about my high school days, that <laughs> would mean, <laughs> don't mean that we'd have to have 700 microvolts to fit one millimeter. Yeah. You can see that scale bar in the lower right corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this tells you, you know, how tall 14,000 microvolts is. <laughs> So let's, so we usually want to see, you know, more like a hundred microvolts on that little scale bar. So mm -hmm. typical, we're, we're, we're a hundred times higher than our sensitivity normally would be right here. I let's go back to seven. To seven. Okay. Read that. Oh, that looks more like brain. That's better. Yeah. Um, so I can see how this patient could be awake. Right. Um, but there, I think there's one more problem here. Um, what your, so your scale bar has two parts. The, the Y part is now 140 microvolts in, looks like about a little more than a centimeter, which is, mm -hmm. we're used to that, but it says six seconds um, are fitting in something like two or three centimeters here. Yeah. So That's, I think let's check our time base. What is, what is that? Yeah. So how much do we, Normally, well, actually, yeah, okay, so let's change the time base. What do we normally like to, how many seconds do we like to see on the screen? So that one I remember. I think that one is 15. Yeah, maybe between 10 and 15 for reading EG. Okay. So one more thing. So this is pretty good, um, but there's one more problem. Mm. So, I mean, we, we might, it might help us to, how many seconds are now on the screen? Hard to know because, oh, the grid lines. Yeah, we could turn the grid lines back on. Those are helpful. Oh, I forgot. Oh. All right, let's turn them back on, major. Oh, OK. Ah, OK, so how many seconds do we have on the screen now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, let's just, just, to, just for fun, let's change the time base again so we can see what the consequences of our are uh, for having it wrong okay. or you know, to something we're not accustomed to and not realizing we do two 
Yeah. Two millimeters per second. Ah, so the patient has status epileptics now. <laughs> There's so many they went from <laughs> We rescued them from coma. <laughs> and then they were they were either sleepy or they were having uh, you know some encephalopathy, but now they have status. Oh no. All by the changing the settings. Isn't that crazy? Try stretching things out too much. Um 30. Yeah, so you can see now if the patient had really actually been in status epilepticus, uh -huh. stretched it out too much, it would, you know, it might look a lot more benign, right? It would look at like the frequencies were lower and anything that was sharp is, you know, stretched out. So it doesn't look so sharp anymore. So, so then if we do the opposite, we compress it too much, things look sharper than they are and more dramatic than they really are. Right. So you, you want to get, make sure you know what the time base is. And in most cases you want to, use the time base that you become accustomed to because uh -huh. don't tell anybody, but we're, we're not very smart. <laughs> Pattern recognition machines after a while. Right? Right. We, we rely on, on our having seen mm -hmm. hundreds or thousands of these previously and just being able to kind of match those to what our memory tells us mm. we're seeing um, if somebody's normal or you know abnormal in various ways. That's a good point. Well, we finally got the settings right. So I'll come back a little later after you've read the CEG and you tell me, I, I mean, I think this is a pretty good day's work though, even, even though we haven't read it yet because you've taken the patient from coma to, you know, back, back to life. To, sta to status and then back to life. And yeah, <laughs> there and back again. <laughs> so the patient has had a pretty good workout. <laughs> Can you bring me some coffee from across the street? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back a little later. All right. Sounds good. Happy Thanks, reading. Brandon. See you later. Bye.